The Prithviraj Chavan government has rejected that report by the Judicial Commission by Justice Patil. No reasons have been ascribed about why. But the point that we're debating tonight on center stage is why is Rahul Gandhi so conspicuously and stunningly silent? He's riding high on the Lokpal bill that has been pushed through, but why this silence on something like the findings in this Judicial Commission report? Joining us on this edition of Centre Stage this evening, we've got Minakshi Lekhi, National Spokesperson of the BJP, also Sanjay Jha, Spokesperson for the Congress Party. Sanjay uh, and Minakshi, I'd like to say that uh, uh, we're going to try and keep the questions as specific as possible tonight, uh, and I would just appeal to the both of you with the, with the deepest respect uh, uh, to answer the question specifically and not you know just attack the other or the other's party or take that as an example uh, as your answer Sanjay if I could just begin with you uh, why no sermons from Rahul Gandhi I mean you know this is a season of sermons as far as Rahul Gandhi is concerned uh, but you know he's so stunningly and conspicuously uh, you know quiet about the other uh, you know scam report uh, which is not wishy-washy it actually talks about political patronage, Sanjay, of three former chief ministers, one of whom is the current home minister of the country, Sanjay. You know, Shiv, I'll try and be as precise as possible. Uh, number one, I've been hearing a lot of BJP spokespeople from the day the Adarsh uh, Society Judicial Commission has reporters come out that they have all begun to talk of Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Now, the truth is, ever since Mr. Rahul Gandhi actually took the initiative in defying his own party and government in, in ensuring that the ordinance which allowed convicted criminals to participate in the electoral process was rubbished, as well as the way he very intelligently negotiated the Lokpal bill through, I think has really upset the BJP's, you know, overall attack on the Congress party as well as Mr. Gandhi personally. Now, let me respond to your question specific to the other society. Uh, Mr. Ashok Chavan, even when this, uh, you know, basic issue came up, Mr. Chavan resigned as the chief minister. You secondly had the defense minister himself uh, ensure that there, were, there was going to be a CBI inquiry because there was a supposition that the land on which other society has been constructed belonged to the defense services. And you had Mr. Prithvi Raj Chavan, whose integrity is highly respected even amongst his opponents, who ordered an independent judicial commission comprising of very eminent people, including Justice Patel. Now, what you have today in, is basically two findings that have emerged from the judicial commission. Number one, then the fundamental point is that they have said that the land belongs to the Maharashtra government. Number two, that there were supposed to be no reservations for the defense services. Now, the entire other society issue is actually predicated on this. Now, you're, the you're, critical point you're, that you're, you're trying to remember, you're, you're trying to that uh, tangle this up with the details, Sanjay. The simple, the simple you know, question the, the is really this was that the there is a report. A lot of Someone like Amilin Deora has come out to say that the, there shouldn't the be a, a hush up. There should be an investigation. Getting, so why can't there be an investigation? Why can't Rahul Gandhi come up and say something? about this. Milindera is surely a respected member of your party and he's come out to say that there shouldn't be a cover-up or a hush-up. No, no, absolutely. And let me tell you, Mr. Devra's tweet has to be appreciated because that is precisely the line that the party itself has taken, which is why I said, if you look at the first three steps, the reactions from the government, they were very, very positive. Now, as far as this Judicial Commission report is concerned, you know, Shiv is very important to point out that, you know, let's not drag Mr. Gandhi into an issue, which is a state government issue, which is a coalition that's, government. That's just where convenient. There is an NCP that's in just Congress, convenient. And there is a cabinet which has said that they accepted certain commission, certain conditions of the Judicial Commission report and some they don't. Now, Mr. Gandhi is not an executive authority of the state. He is not an executive authority at the center. That's, that's selective convenience. I'm, I'm sorry, party. Sanjay Jha. That's you know, selective you, convenience mean, you know, as far as what Rahul Gandhi can and cannot and speak about. The state administration. Okay, okay. You've, had your, you, you ha, you, you've now, had your you you've had your turn at an opening me. comment. Let me bring in let, let me bring in uh, Minakshi Lekhi now. Uh, uh, Ms. Lekhi, you know, there is a sense, uh, a sense of deja vu almost. Uh, You've had Milind Deora make a comment in the past as well, and we saw what happened after that. There was that press, you know, press club, uh, press conference by Rahul Gandhi as well. How are you reading what's happening right now? You see, uh, uh, Congress party is trying to keep all the eggs in multiple baskets for reasons well known. And I have always called Congress as Hydra-headed party because at one time it talks in hundred different voices, so whichever suits can be picked up, whether it's secularism or its terrorism or its other scam. On one side, the statements made by the Congress party are anything but others for the reasons 
that governor's office has been misused which directly falls under the realm of central government when mr jha speaks about the fact that it was this very government which sent the matter to the cbi it was this very government which opposed the cbi probe into the whole thing it by filing affidavits before the high court and it was this very government which ordered two member pan, uh, commission to inquire into after taking these steps once these steps are taken yeah. and there are findings against them to save their own people the governor ex does not accept the arrest order the governor rejects they choose this is april 2013 the report was submitted on purpose they don't table it in the legislative assembly and after a reprimand by the high court it is tabled on the last day of winter session in the legislative assembly so that there can be no debate it is in this manner right. that the congress functioning needs to be exposed and it is in this context that one is questioning mr rahul gandhi's statements because on one side he wants to take credit for jan lokpal and anti corruption movement on the other side the congress appointed governors office is being misused their own chief ministers not three but four chief ministers are found okay. to be involved they don't table it on the last they they don't table it in time so that there can be corruption free movement in this country and they don't allow anybody to debate and they don't accept the report itself which has been probed in which and which me, the panel which, was prepared by this very government which leads me to my next question sanjay i'll give you a chance to respond to that but i have something else to ask uh, you know is it you know does the congress actually believe uh you know you know in this election season you know in this very emotionally charged election season where pot shots are being taken uh you know by all these towering states uh, you know statesmen against each other there's modi there's rahul gandhi there's sonia gandhi there are so many others is does the congress honestly believe that voters and the public out there that the congress is looking to actually woo for these upcoming uh, elections uh, you know care about whether it's a state subject or a national subject given you know given how much rahul gandhi has begun to come out and speak don't you think it's a it's a mistake for him not to say something specific about this particular case and the fact that he isn't saying something says a great deal more shiv can i add one line to what you said quickly quickly minakshi both this both both the center and the state are run by the same government by the same party congress that's party. right and it is the the That's subject fair. is bit common all between the state and the center because it's it's military it's military line it is uh, uh, the governor Minakshi, is central appointed we, ministry of environment leaders. is involved minakshi let, 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 let's listen let's listen to sanjay now Sa Sa sanjay go ahead yeah yeah shiv i was adhering to whatever you had requested both of us to do but anyway minakshi is free to interrupt me whenever she wants to the point i want to make is very very simple that end of day i agree with you that political leaders are going to be under greater public scrutiny and i think it's very good for democracy and i therefore want to link it to what you asked me it's very pertinent mr narendra modi the bjp prime ministerial candidate was in mumbai in my city and he raised yeah. the adarsh issue and talked about linked it to mr gandhi his attack uh, on the ordinance as well as his uh, role in getting the lokpal bill through and i'll tell you how mr modi is a prime ministerial candidate was so much distorting the truth and being so disingenuous number 1 he is the same person as the chief minister he is the executive authority in gujarat he allows a 400 crore scam of purushottam solanki indicted by the gujarat high court he allows that not to go through in fact he stopped the prosecution number 1 number 2 even in case of the other society and i don't want to play a game of you know uh, you know one politics versus the other that's precisely what we don't want but the truth is in others yeah. if you look at that the problem to today do. in the judicial commission finding and it is about coaching. people having benami ownership and out of the 22 flats which are owned in a benami fashion which need to be investigated nine of them are involved mr sajjeti's brother the rasabha mp who is very close to the president of former president of bjp nitin well, gadkari sanjay this so, this, you know, this honestly brings us back to the whole you know two wrongs don't make a right uh, you know argument because shameless way. that's precisely what and i started this debate by actually saying we can't party. Just right blame right each other, you know, know, as an answer to some of these questions. Can I intervene yeah. now? Yeah, Minakshi, go ahead. Quick, quick response. I agree with that. You know, if he's, if he's, if 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 Sancheti has in fact got illegal flats, why has Congress not taken action against him? 
That is my question. In fact, in the garb of this, they are trying to cover up their own scam. The scam involves the central government, the scam involves the state government, four chief ministers whose arrest was being stopped by the CBI, and that CBI to to sabotage that probe, they ordered this commission of inquiry, and the commission okay. of inquiry report is not getting accepted. This is the manner in which Congress government is functioning, and in fact, spreading lies because. Okay. 19 is to 31 was the ratio let, where let, civilian to the other versus issue the for the moment. was to be given and everything has been taken away by the Congress uh, 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 politicians. I, this, I, this just, I, just, I just want to put... In fact, MMRDA, Sir, give me a minute. A, yeah. a, a Ministry of Environment, uh, Military Land, everything... Let me just put one final and point and out there which I want the both focus. of your answers from. I, I, I want both your answers on one final point on this debate this evening on center stage. There is a sense, uh, Minakshi and Sanjay, that uh, you know, uh, you know, certain quarters say that there could be a fixed match at play. You know that this 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 scene is being created, Absolutely not. and then and then Rahul Gandhi will just jump in and say that this is all nonsense. There can't be a cover up, and we need to investigate these people. Of course, it's more complicated, uh, you know, than the corrupt Neta's uh, you know uh, ordinance. But uh, uh, is that something that you believe is possible, Minakshi? And then I'll come to you, Sanjay, right after that. I I I completely agree with you on three points. You see, if I am seeing the trend right, media, uh, certain things are being getting done in a certain okay. manner to give an enhanced image to Mr. Gandhi and certain things are being planned in that fashion to give enhanced image to Mr. Gandhi okay. through the usage of media and, and that is what I am reading and there are right. two, three instances which have happened in the recent past and I am reading that into them. Sanjay, and, your and response. And this definitely seems to be part of the same game. Uh, Shiv, Shiv, my answer is going to be very succinct. I think the Bharatiya Janata Party is displaying the ultimate in hypocritical standards. Minakshi Lekhi quotes the Commission of an Inquiry, but it was the BJP Shiv Sena government which completely rejected the Sri Krishna Commission report on the Mumbai riots of 92-93. And let me also tell you this, that Mr. Modi has Babubai ah. Bokharia, a convicted corrupt minister, still continuing in his <laughs> cabinet. Last but not the least, the inquiry on the other issue, whether it's CBI, income tax or enforcement directorate continues. So whether it's Mr. Sancheti, even if Mr. Chawal yeah. tomorrow this has is, certain this findings is precisely and indicted, what so I be it. Sort of requested I don't think there's the any attempt to, to try and the shield or protect debate. anybody. But, anyhow. but the principal point here is Mr. that we have people taking a holier-than-thou attitude, which I think is absolutely grossly unfair. Quick, quick response from Minakshi and then I'm Sh going to make Sh one Sh final Sh point. Shiv, Shiv, you, st you, started, you started the debate by I know, I know, I did. Yeah. to violate Right? Yeah. And, and you can see the frustration on the face of Mr. Jha, who's continuing with his rhetoric all about Gujarat, then about Maharashtra, where four chief ministers have been found to be indicted, including one who's a sitting home minister. And when Babubai Bokharia or other cases are concerned, they are all pending before the court. Okay. He's again misquoting, he's going about his rhetoric and not answering the Excuse straight question. Let's, let's, okay. okay. Now, we're form form now we're getting into form and not really content. Now we're getting into form and not really content. And why yeah. a person who's talking about anti-corruption movement, trying to take the credit has as not in fact a been taking credit. To the home this minister, is Mr. Sushil Kumar Shinde. Ah. No, no, I don't think you know your Mr. facts here. Mr. 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 Jha, CBI probe has been sabotaged by bringing in a commission of inquiry and that commission of inquiry also has taken, okay. that report has not been tabled okay, we're completely since out of time. 2013. Okay. You choose to table it at the last minute. Okay. This is your government, the governor is yours, arrest is not being Okay, I'm going to come in here because I have one final point to make. Uh, the last word's going to go to Sanjay Jha. Started with him, I'm going to end with him as Shev, well. Sanjay, Shev, you, know, you, me, you meet Rahul Gandhi pretty often. Janta Party, I have a specific question CBI for you, Sanjay. You meet Rahul Gandhi pretty Bureau often. Is he going to speak about the, BJP, the other scam? The is he BJP, going to speak about it? Do you have a sense? Can you tell our viewers whether Rahul Gandhi is Sorry. going to say anything about the other scam report? Sure. Well, well, let me tell you, this is a matter which has already been addressed to by the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. We are definitely going to get to the bottom of any violations in terms of people, Benami, who got the flat set, including those like the Shiv Sena MP Suresh Prabhu, who was ineligible to get a certain size of a flat who has. Now, whether, you know, end of day, let me tell you that I don't think it's a fair 
to expect that Mr. Gandhi should start, you know, kind of intervening in multiple issues, which is going to happen across across the country. Oh it might happen. You know, there are allegations. Remember, Chelsea Mrs. Sonia Governor, Gandhi sent a letter to the chief ministers of all Congress states, telling them that they must not exercise any discretionary quota where land allocations okay, okay. or flat allocations were concerned. Completely so out of time. That end of yeah. day, the intent of the party is to get to the bottom of any issue related to corruption. Okay, you you both had your say. Okay. Okay. You both yeah, had your Mr. say. Gandhi does, that's entirely Minakshi, ridiculous. apologize. We're completely out of time. Minakshi, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Final word. Arrest. Governor, governor's office is getting misused. What does the central government do about it? Okay, we're going to end with that question. You both had your say, Sanjay Jha and Minakshi Lekhi. Thanks for joining us on this lively debate on center stage. Clearly, I think the takeaway is that Rahul Gandhi is perhaps not going to say anything about the other scam. And if he does, then perhaps the stage has already been set for that. Sanjay Jha, Minakshi Lekhi, appreciate you joining me this evening on center stage.